Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, this was like my second video for today as far as that goes. So although I was talking about all this other stuff that's in the world of politics in some ways, but in some ways I feel like the reason why um, we can't get anything done here is simply because of how the Republicans aren't really afraid of Trump at this point. And I think that's kind of true at that point. Because in a way, Trump has absolutely no idea how to make how to make the political deals and all this sort of stuff. You know. And the fact is he has the wrong he doesn't have the right skill set to be a politician and all that. As I kind of said earlier on this sort of thing, and maybe it was about like a year ago or whatever that I had talked about this sort of thing. And then simply, it is simply the fact that he just doesn't really have the right personality to, to negotiate with such things like that. I mean, in some ways, he, he never really kissed the ring when it came to the GOP as far as that goes because the GOP had never ever completely backed him out backed him up as far as anything of that sort to tell the truth I mean it, there was even one point like that he was going to sue like the GOP if he didn't get the whole nomination you know or he said he was going to become independent if he didn't get the nomination or whatever it was and then the fact that the GOP didn't want to give him the nomination. You know, they were simply wanting to have somebody like Cruz or Jeb Bush or Christie or, you know, at the, at the helm and not him. But that's sort of the whole reason why he had Pence there because Pence was basically that bargaining chip as far as that goes, that compromise there. So, anyways, as I was kind of saying about this sort of stuff here, is that I kind of find it a bit amusing how the ship has kind of started to sink at this point with the, the Trump administration and that he is completely oblivious to all that and then blames everything but himself as far as for that matter to tell the truth I think it's just amusing as far as that goes and how we hear all these stories about how the uh, people from his legal team leaving and then certain people leaving after a while what if it's like Spicer or Ben or uh Bannon and all these other people there that were leaving in some ways, you know, when and here it is, it's like you know, it's not it's not even I mean it's it's barely even six months so far when the Trump's administration and the fact that the ship is already starting to sink at this point. You know, but on the other hand, I have a feeling in this kind of case here is that if Trump does go down, you know, it's, it means that it's going to be the end of this form of republicanism and, you know, or this end of uh, this iteration of the republicans at this point. You know, because of how, how incompetent this guy is and that he can't even see past his own nose of his own competency and all that. It's it's surprising how such people are like that. You know, to tell the truth. So, um anyways, it's one of those little things I have to kinda of point out about that sort of stuff with with uh with that. But uh, it makes me kind of wonder what's gonna happen as far as like the impeachment kind of case there. Although I think that there, that he should only be impeached if he actually done something wrong, but but running around uh, running around 
repeating Russia, 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 Russia is not going to make it though. You know, but however, it's like there's a lot of other things that seems to be shady with him at this point that needs to be addressed here. So, in a way, I kind of think it's like that that was the with last year's election it could have been better at this point you know that we could have been, had better choices there besides Clinton and Trump you know but but considering all of that it's like you know there should be some sort of way where we could break away from that two party system and all that but then like I said there it's like even if that's the case, it's still going to be that way, too. Because although we have other choices, like, in other countries, you know, but it's always been kind of like a two-party thing in other countries. You know, it's always been, like, liberal conservative in, in Canada, or labor and conservative, or um, labor and liberal in, in Australia, or labor and national in uh, a monitor place or or SPD and uh, and uh, CPS or whatever that one in Germany and then maybe a couple of other things there but honestly there isn't really that much of a choice as far as that goes to tell the truth so um anyways I guess that's probably until next time